Hey guys, it is Andrea and today I'm going to come at you with a plan with me using my personal size kit here and this is the donuts kit that came out yesterday. I haven't actually put up new releases yet so I don't know because I'm filming this early. I don't know if this is still going to be available by the time that I put it up but possibly it might. Um, so we do have three kit sizes now. So we have the personal size, we have the mini, which is four full pages in the freebie. And then we also have the ultimate, which is seven pages plus the freebie. So you could definitely either get the personal, which is formatted for the personal to do a white space spread in here, or you can purchase the mini. And this would definitely be more of a no white space look but I do want to show you guys kind of like how I would do this as no white space with pulling in some multicolor items so normally whenever I do do this as a spread I'll just use this and it will look not like that it will look like this so that is using just the kit and it comes out to be very um very much like a white space spread. So here's another one. This is the one that I dumped water on. So that is kind of like a little bit of an example, but I wanna show you guys like how many stickers and stuff that I would pull in if I was doing this as a no white, spa no white space planner look. So first I'm gonna start with my washi, which is glossy and it's the side washi. I know for a fact that I'm going to need a ton of undo because it's just the way it, way it works. These scissors. Looks like I picked up a little bit of extra paper right there. Okay. Then we're gonna grab this one and do this on this side. I also purchased a hole punch that is like made for these three holes. It looks like this. I got it at Target. So I'm going to try and punch these. I don't know how well it's going to end up, but I'm going to try and see how it works. I don't really know if there's like a good way of telling where the holes are, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Actually, that's pretty perfect. So have the holes in there, all straight and perfect. That's nice. Okay. So I am going to be basing this again off of these plans here, and this is kind of like my highlight reel of the week as far as what I can fit in here, because obviously I can't fit all of my plans in here, but I like to put the highlights, and that is crooked. So we're going to start, start off on a good mark and start with the undo. Uh, with Erin Condren planner, I think the paper is a little less soft. So you don't so you can like lift the stickers up, but because of the how soft the so much crafting paper is, and other papers I felt that are like are the same softness, like buttery is I guess a better word, not like soft. Um, it is hard to lift the stickers because I guess they like the paper just doesn't allow it. So I use undo, which you can buy on Amazon Prime. I'll link it down below or Amazon just regular and I think it's like six bucks but it's definitely if you're gonna be using so much crafting inserts or any inserts or a planner that has like really soft paper I think it is a must-have just so that you can get your stuff on straight so over here I'm going to mark this as dinners my weekly ombre Okay, and then I'm just going to leave above it blank. I actually haven't done a no white space look using this, but I have kind of an idea of what I want to do. I do want to put a glitter header on top of each. Do I have glitter headers for this? I believe I do. Let's give it a little look-see. So I'm going to pull in some glitter, I think. Just because I think it looks so pretty. I could definitely get away with using like washi because there is enough washi here. But I think the glitter will give it a cool look. And I'm going to use the pinks. So I'm just going to take all of these guys here. Oops, I took a purple one. And it's cool if you order the, a personal and an ultimate, or even a personal and a mini, you can use the three for the morning, day, night, and then you can use your leftover colors for your personal. 
And I don't think that you necessarily need a header with like to do or today on it if you just have this little tiny area. But I think that this is kind of just like using washi just to give it a little something. I like the pink glitter with it, it's really pretty. I love this collection so much. It's definitely, I think, my favorite out of all the ones that were released yesterday. Now is your time if you're watching this on the day that I upload it. I actually keep an eye on the time. Oh, I have an hour and a half till new releases go up. It's 9.30 in the morning on Friday. It's actually Nick and I's six month of being married, which is exciting. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this weekend banner down. And I think for the weekend banner, I am going to leave a little bit of white spaces on the edges because of the way that we have it. It does have a little white space, but I'm not super worried about that. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then let's see what I want to do now. I have... I guess we'll just go day by day. Oh, I could put my habit tracker up here. So I think for the habit tracker, I'm gonna put a little piece of washi in between it just to break it up. And I'm gonna use a piece of the patterned washi. I'm gonna put this in here. And then I think I'm gonna use, I'll just write in what that is. And then I'll do another piece of washi on top. Or I'll wait and see like what I want to do on top because I might just use it as like a deco space. So let's put in, I guess, the little things. We'll get that started. So I have four TV shows, which I think I had more than four on. So I'm also going to use the movie slate as one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to use the movie slate as one of the ones on... We'll do the ones on Tuesday. So on Monday I have on here The Bachelorette. I've done this, I think, plan with me like with these plans like three times now. So we have that one and then we have the one on, oops, we have this one which we'll say is The Bachelor in Paradise and then this is Unreal which if you guys don't watch Unreal you definitely need to. It was definitely so good. Not definitely but it was just so good this season and the finale gave me like full body chills and then I had two packages I can mark I actually had four but I'm just gonna mark two I could probably pull in some multicolor little things well, we'll do that so I have this one and then I'll just put this one on Thursday just to break it up a little and then I'm gonna grab let's see have all of my multicolor little things and here are the packages and I'm just gonna pick a color that like kind of actually this color might match like perfectly that's pretty good so I do have another package on Tuesday Tuesday was a lot of little things and let's see what other color can I use I can use this blue here and I'll put this one on Friday Okay, and then I have in here, let's see, I had a heart on Thursday for two weeks till Disney. I had an asterisk on Friday for new releases. And then I had a heart on Sunday for one week till the planner party. And then an asterisk on Saturday for me finishing the Harry Potter book. So we have that in there. Now I'm going to go in with, I think, these three heart checklists because there were three specific checklists that I had. So I did have a, we'll just do to-dos. And I'll do a work one as well because one was work related. So I'm going to put this to-do on Wednesday it was. So I'm just going to line it up on the bottom. And then stick the to-do on top of that. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do the same thing because I did have a work to-do list. On Monday, all I had on there as far as in the day was that I wanted to have a rest day because we were flying back and I didn't actually sleep. None of us did on Sunday to Monday night. 
So I do have a flight. So for my flight, I'm going to use a quarter box. And I'm going to use one of these full boxes as well. I think I'm going to do the butt first coffee because that's kind of funny. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I kind of should have put my flight up top. So I'm going to take some undo. Whoever thought of this is like completely genius. Like the whole concept of undo is so cool. I'm just gonna let this dry, which undo dries really fast. It's not like water, it dries ultra fast. So I think what I wanna do is do a quarter box. I'm gonna do, let's see, a blue. And then I'm just gonna grab another piece of washi. So I'm gonna do, this one's fine. So I'm gonna do the washi on top here. The undo, like, before it dries, does make your stickers kind of slide around a little. And then I'm going to do this, the first coffee down here. And then the quarter box kind of filling the seam. And that'll be where I put my flight info. And then I'm just going to grab this little airplane. Stick it on the corner. So that day is done. And then on Tuesday, I had work. So for work, I think I'm going to use one of these guys for every day that I have work and I'm just going to stick it on top and then on top of that I'm just going to do a little flag like so and then I did have an appointment so for my appointment I think I'm going to do hmm what do I want to do I think I'm going to do Two small pieces of washi. I think I'll use blue and pink. So I'll do the pink up here. That's crooked. I feel like sometimes it's hard to judge the center of the so much crafting inserts. Because let me show you. Cause it like lines up with the line but then there's like a little smidge and that's just the way that the dots are so you have to kind of line them up in between the dots if that makes any sense and I could just leave that but I'm gonna I'm gonna move it over a little okay and then I'm just going to use one of these boxes and I'm going to do the purple one because I didn't use purple. And then for this, I'm going to use a little um, clinking glasses maybe. Or a heart. We'll do the heart because it's for the venue for the planner party. So we'll just do a little heart in the corner on there. And then on Wednesday, I have my to-do list on there. I did have another appointment and I did want to mark that I wanted to unpack so i think for the appointment let me see i think i'm gonna skip this day because i might come back to it because i think mm, no i'll probably put my other full boxes over here so maybe i will okay so for this one i just have the appointment and then i wanted to unpack so i think for that i'm going to grab this blue and i'm going to stick it down here for the appointment. And then for unpacking, I'm going to use, um, let's see, or I could even use one of these for the appointment. I'm gonna grab some washi. I'm gonna just grab this one here. Okay, I got an idea. So I'll use, actually I'm gonna just grab two of these little ones because I think the little ones will work, the mid-sized. And save that big one for later. So I'll grab that one and then we'll do another little one. And then I'm just going to do an appointment label over top. Do the pink. In the center. And then I think for this I'm going to do a little... I'll just do the time and then the appointment. And then down here... I'm going to do a little a little box for unpacking and I'm going to layer it over a pink flag. And I'll put it this way just to kind of change it up a little. 
super cute so that is all no white size over there and now we're moving over to here i'm gonna go ahead and put these full boxes in because i know pretty much where they're going to go so i have this one here and then i'm gonna do a pink and a blue so i'm gonna do the pink here oops that's crooked and then the blue here Trying to line these up as perfect as possible. Oop. I think I'm going to lift this one up. This one's crooked too, but this one's way more crooked. I don't think I'm actually going to have to pull in very much. I pulled in so far, I think, what, two little things? Yeah. I'm gonna let that dry real quick and I'll work on Saturday. So actually I'll work on Thursday. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I did have work. So I'm going to use, like I said, another one of these little labels up top with a little flag over top of it for working. And I'm gonna use the green. And then other than that, I did have a checklist and I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of washi in the middle that is a little short. Let me see. Maybe I'll do this little piece and an appointment label because I did have an appointment that day, so it works out. Mm, I'm going to put that in the middle. Can I lift it up still without using undo? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put the. Uh, I'm going to use the purple. A little piece of purple. And then I'm going to do the appointment label. Or did I want to put that? I wanted to put it in the middle. I just lifted it up from that spot. Oops. That was a phone appointment, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull the little phone. And then on Friday, we went to the movie. So I am actually going to pull one movie marquee in to this spread and I think I'm going to pull a glitter one and I'm going to do maybe where's the glitter let me see which one matches the best probably the pink but I could do the blue I think I'm going to do the pink though so I'm going to go ahead and do the pink I kind of wish I would have put this on the bottom I'm going to do that I'm going to lift this up undo guys undo is is the whole point of this it's undo. It was so funny because I don't remember what we were talking about, but I think somebody, I was either maybe Tara or probably Tara, was talking about Snapchat and she's like, how do you lift a sticker up? And she meant like a sticker on Snapchat and I was like, undo. But it wasn't. Obviously, you can't put undo on your, on your phone because that wouldn't be good. And I'm just going to put a piece of washi on the bottom there. So I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to put my movie marquee in. Let's see. Okay. That one's a little wet still from the undo. Then I'm going to put this one back down. And this was just the problem of it being crooked. So I'm going to try and straighten it out. Perfect. And then on Saturday, it was a game night. So for game night, I'm going to use a half box. I'm going to use the pink. And a piece of washi above it, which I'm glad I picked it this way. And then for game night, I'm just going to use the little house icon. And then for Sunday was SPC in office. So for that, I'm going to use a piece of washi, but I am going to put down uh, one of these washies just because it's not going to cover it entirely. And just like I did the rest of the days, I'm going to put a little flag on top. I'm going to do the pink flag just for a little contrast to the purple. And then other than that, it was I needed to film my, I actually filmed my new, it was on my like checklist. So we're not going to put that in there. Um, Actually, I'll just put it in with the half box. I have an extra one. 
So I'm just gonna put this on this day because I also don't wanna cover up with the full box because it's too cute. And for that, for filming my new releases, not my new releases, my, um, my rewind spread, which I normally do on, fr on Sunday. So I'm just gonna put it in on Sunday. Um, I think the rest that I have is deco. So I'm going to actually use this up here as like my deco for up here. It's just gonna be like some pattern washi, which is patterns are so cute. So I like those. I'm gonna do this donut up here just as a piece of deco. And then I do have a couple small deco pieces that I'm just going to stick around the spread. I love the mini deco. I kind of freak out every time I like assemble it. Oops, these little baby decos. I kinda wanna make them even smaller. Okay, so I think that that is it. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, so what I had to pull into this spread is I pulled in this shipping box, this shipping box, and this movie marquee. For some reason I thought I was gonna have to pull in a lot more but I did not have to. So I used one of these and then two shipping boxes and that is everything that I pulled into the spread. Oh, and then I used these, one row of these glitter, um, glitter headers, which if you didn't have these and you wanted to use these guys, there's definitely matches in here, especially with the pink. I feel like the pink was pretty easy to match even on here. I feel like this pink would have been perfect and, or you could have went for the blue. This blue here would have matched nice, this middle blue here. So I love the way that this spread turned out. Again, I used all of these glitter headers right there, and then I used most of this kit. I do have all seven heart checklists left. I have four of these headers left, one little piece of washi, a bunch of mini icons, and a couple flags, and then these mini flags. So that is what I have left. I hope that you guys liked this video. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it in the planner. I don't think I'm going to fill it out though. Let's see, I might fill it out. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it out. Okay, so I went ahead and filled everything out. I think it looks super duper cute. I use the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.7 and I love it. I hope that you guys liked this plan with me using the personal donut kit and a couple other little things. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.